Hello and welcome back. Today we've got another £500 worth of £2 coins we're hunting through, looking for commemoratives, ones with more than face value, but ideally looking to fill the book. This is uh, the book that I use. There's a link in the description if you want to pick up one of these books. It's an affiliate link, so I do get a bit of commission if you make a purchase, just so you are aware. We need three Commonwealth Games £2 coins. Northern Ireland, Wales or Scotland would make for fantastic finds. Uh, filling one of the few gaps. There's also some gaps after the Great Fire London for the two Britannias and maybe the new definitive has if it has been put in circulation which we don't know yet as of recording. So let's get into the bag and see what we find. Okay then into bag number one. I'll show you what we're looking for. That is uh, Technologies, the definitive design on £2 coins, the standard non-commemorative design. Some are lower minted years than others, just not low enough that I think that they're worth keeping. Unfortunately, bag number one results in a case of the diddlies. So let's carry on merrily through and hope that we find some exciting rare coins. But uh, we're having a little bit of a reprise, reprieve from the uh, Royal Mint releasing coins. It, we went through a bit of a hectic time with lots and lots and lots of coins coming out, which was rather expensive time as well. It does make me wonder, and uh, if anyone working at the Royal Mint or has worked at the Royal Mint knows the inside scoop, I would love to know. It's because it feels almost like, oh hang on, Guy Fawkes, Gunpowder Plot very common coin and um, they must have a team of people working on whatever coin it is they're working on and it makes me wonder do they have like some sort of working in silos effectively so if you're working on the Harry Potter coin you're not in communication with the people working on the RNLI coin um, because we would have thought that they would spread the releases a little bit more evenly throughout the year rather than have what felt like 20 coins come out in the space of a month and a half and um, but yeah very the big uptake in uh, the amount of coins that the Roman to release in a short period right Trinity house there that is a very common coin but it has a bit of variety to the hunt as we've not found many yet but no it's just I think it would be kinder to some of us um, those of us that are like that, that are like buying some of the more expensive pieces or those that are collecting on a budget I'm sure would uh, appreciate a bit of uh, time between releases right that'll be something that says two pounds at the bottom oh wow very nice London underground train one of two coins to celebrate the London underground very very nice find over face value if you want to see and there we have Brunel's achievements the arches at Paddington station which is uh, one of two Brunel coins in circulation. Both are very common though. But no, I do wonder if uh, we're having a, a couple of week break from these crazy releases to all of a sudden be swamped by a whole bunch more releases maybe. Right, we have Britannia there. Now Britannia replaced technologies as the definitive design in 2015. So we need to see what year this one is. It is 2015, wow. One of the lower minted circulating years. So that is a nice find, certainly. We haven't had all that many 2015 Britannias. I think that might only be the fourth one since we started hunting through this book. So, not the most common coins to find. Always a welcome sight. Any of the Britannias, I would love still to find a non-circulating Britannia, one that has come out of an annual set or a presentation pack or whatever, and for, for one reason or another, someone has spent the coin either I don't know because they want to put some non-circulating coins in circulation or uh, through not realizing there is a value to a coin collector potentially right another Bruno's achievements and an active union active union will check for the rotation error this one doesn't have um, I will check through all the coins the commemoratives and the uh, definitives for any other potential rotation errors double dies edge inscription errors that kind of thing Got Lord Kitchener there. Now, if he doesn't say two pounds at the bottom on the obverse, that would be exciting. But this one does two pounds there. There, there is a mule version. So they've used uh, the wrong dies, the wrong pairing of dies, and they've produced a coin that doesn't say two pounds on the bottom on the obverse on the Lord Kitchener one, and that's very rare and very valuable. That's fine. Some of those really shiny, brand new 2015 technologies although not really new that was a <laughs> it 
they were made almost a decade ago, which is uh, scary to think. Um, they're the ones I tend to find more rotation errors with. Right, speaking of rotation errors, come on. Nope, sadly not. I only checked some of the commemoratives for the rotation errors, just ones that people have, co have convinced me uh, are out there to be found, because I'm searching through all the coins, checking for all the rotation errors, whoops, would take a long time. Okay, our first Shakespeare. This is uh, one of three coins. This is not the rarest, but it's not the most common. It's Shakespeare Tragedies. Now on this one, we will check the edge inscription. What a piece of work is a man. So that's as it should appear. We have in the past found one with the edge inscription error. Um, hence why the 2016s I always check on video. Right, abolition of the slave trade there. That's a very common coin. And that's all we're getting from that bag. Right, let's just pause for a moment and uh, sort out my sand castles. I try and keep them all nice and neatly together so at the end of the video it's so easy just to whiz through them all looking for other areas I might have missed because uh, I can multitask to a certain extent but checking for all those errors and still prattle on like I normally do I couldn't quite manage that right to Charles Dickens very very common I wonder what the odds of finding the, the same commemorative back to back in a bag would be they can't be that high can it even for a very common coin obviously the technology is probably more than likely to do so but in terms of an individual unique commemorative DNA double helix very pretty design on that coin but as we all know it's a very common coin one that you'll have no problems finding in circulation if you look long and hard enough and there's the VE day anniversary that's the most common circulating commemorative two pound coin and there's another Charles Dickens He's making a few appearances today Although the one Charles that I'm waiting to make an appearance on two pound coins is the current king um, obviously all the coins minted from 2023 onwards have his portrait so there are uh, two pound coins with the king on but not in circulation yet that we're aware of okay Shakespeare tragedies edge inscription is correct sadly no added value for the edge inscription error again would be a very cool coin to find another one on I've only found the one but I say that I think just finding the one uh, is lucky enough although I did have a customer this is probably about a year and a half ago I worked for the Britannia coin company uh, they came in oh, she came in a young coin collector wants to know what her coins were worth um, and as it was only a handful of coins I did take a, uh, 10 minutes out of my day to do so for her and she had the Shakespeare tragedies of the edge inscription didn't even realize that was an error uh, so I got to educate her on that and tell her, well, make sure you don't sell that for too little because that's quite valuable. Not thousands of pounds valuable, but decent value. Another VE Day anniversary there. Right, should we do an edge hunt before we run out of bags? We've got five or six bags after this one. We can do that with a £2 coin because they have edge inscriptions unique to the designs. If it says standing on the shoulders of giants, we know it's a definitive technologies, and I think all of these are going to be that. So, case of the diddlies there. We struck out, unfortunately. We'll try again, though. Let's see what we find in this bag. We've got giants standing, giants standing, giants of giants, giants, shoulders, shoulders, standing. Oh, dear. Double diddlies. Yeah, the diddlies are rife today. I'm going to roll the dice again. We've got to find something. We've got to find something. I get too stubborn with this. Right, shoulders, giants, the shoulders, standing, giants, giants, shoulders, the shoulders, giant shoulders. Oh dear. Triple diddlies. Rubbish. Okay. Roll the dice once more. One more time. And then we give up. Okay, we have got standing standing the shoulders giants standing giants the shoulders oh maria maria will be britannia so 2016 britannia there we go two britannias very nice i think below that king and country should be the army centenary our first one of the day check the rotation that's fine this description we know is correct 
Well, there we go. We did. We found a couple in the end. We didn't have a uh, quadruple diddlies. No one wants quadruple diddlies. Dribblies. Dribbly dib. <laughs> diddlies. That's the word. <laughs> no, we don't want. We don't want anyone dribbling on on our coins either. That's not ideal. Oh dear. Right. Well, we've got some nice finds already. And we are already onto the last bag of the hunt. Well, you never know what might turn up in this, the last bag. But uh, links, as usual, are in the description of this video across to my coin collecting Discord server if you want to come and join that. Uh, it's the best way to probably to interact with me and other coin collectors, so I'd definitely recommend it if you haven't tried Discord before. Uh, there's also links to my other social media channels, the PO Box address if you want to write in to me, and a link to the Britannia Coin Company's YouTube channel, the company I work for as my day job, so please check them out too. Uh, I'm just going to whiz through these coins now to see if there's any errors I might have missed in the hunt. So, one interesting find. We have got a 2010 Technologies. Uh, I don't think i found this on any other coin other than a 2010 Technologies £2 coin. We rotate it and have a look at the letters. This, you don't need to change your prescription. There is doubling of the letters, especially around here and on the IRB Ian Rank Broadley's initials under the Queen's portrait. So this is a double die obverse error, which is very, very cool. Um, nothing new for the book, sadly, but uh, we got a couple of nice finds, didn't we? So we can't grumble. Um, I'd pick one of these for maybe that double die obverse error, although I do like the underground train as well. Anyway, you, you can let me know in the comments what your star find from today's video is. What would you pick as the best coin found? It's always interesting seeing what you guys are liking and why that is. All it leaves me to do now, though, is thank you so much for watching. I hope you've enjoyed, and I'll see you next time for more coins. Bye.